It's okay. The next is getting on my nerves. Wanted to kill him. What nonsense is this? That is coming. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's okay. So Nesta wants to kill me. It's okay. Get on my nerves. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. It's all they've gone. They've gone. They've gone. Go. Go. They've gone away. Today's they've gone away. Get it. Nesta. It's all right. Where are you going? You just arrived? Elio!
just went down memory lane. You have to pull yourself.
on the drug. You don't have to help me to talk to your father. Okay, can't you remember the other time you collapsed like this? It got better after a few hours. Calm down. Well, his body was dead when the He was not moving. No, no, no. Please just take your dog. Stop complaining. Hey, Una, how is your father? Oh. He's better. Hey. Hey. Be <sighs> Please take me to him. Oh. His wife. No, we know. We are only his children. We don't, we don't want to stress him so that your health situation will not escalate. Please. Do be here. We stay with you at home. While the before I go there tomorrow morning. Why are you people doing? With your father. It's, it, it's not as if I'm you're worrying too much. Let me please take it close. Okay. I will not go to the hospital this time. But first thing in the morning, we'll take it close. Yeah, we we'll don't take it close. Take it close. Hey, boy. Hey, baby. Father was in fine health when I called him from Amsterdam two days ago. Hmm. It was really fine. Yeah. Nestor was here this morning to tell me about his bad health before leaving to the village. Call everybody, everybody. Nestor, my mom, to maybe nobody's speaking up. Probably his bad network. Hmm? Why don't you come and eat your food? Mm. Hmm? Your daddy is fine. Mm? I know, baby. Gave up the ghost 20 minutes after the doctor came in. Mm -hmm. Uncle, please don't mm -hmm. shout. Mm -hmm. My mom doesn't know her father. She must not hear about mm -hmm. this. At least for now, because of her health situation. Please, Uncle, mm -hmm. you promise you're going to keep it to yourself. Yes. Thank you. your recent attitude. Why can't I be with my husband now? Eh? Mommy, why don't you just wait and see him this evening? You don't need any remember. We have a lot on our hands right now. Huh? Don't you worry too much. Okay, okay, do you know I'll and see him now. Let me just have my account. I'll look after him and I'll call him. Frowning, come on. Okay, I'm gonna see. You have to put your rumpled face now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, mommy. I'm Make sure you eat the basket, okay? Mommy, My regards to her. I don't like it when you cry like this. Crying will not bring daddy back. What has happened, has happened okay? Come on, it's okay. Do you think they will allow you burying him your way? So that they don't have any choice in this family. And by tradition and customs, it behoves some milk. It falls on my table to take care of his burial arrangement. Nobody will, will charge my authority and one thing i will not stay alive and allow is to let anyone cut off any part of my father's body for ritual i will not allow that but that's if they don't get hold of the, of the corpse before you know they won't do it they won't try it i've already instructed dr ibe and the morticians to take care of that nobody gets to the cost instructions nobody okay they won't do it but i don't just i just don't want you to cry anymore okay come on mm -hmm. listen let's go inside okay mm -hmm. come on give me a smile all right, all right let's go Father's death is such a great loss to the brotherhood. He was a great man, and we are going to miss him. He mustn't get to the mortuary. You understand that? Yes, I do. Some rituals are supposed to be performed. Some part of his flesh will be preserved and given back to you to keep this nest of king. You understand? Absolutely. It's a pity, my dear. Okay. Yes, sir. My older brother was with my father at the point of demise. Mm -hmm. He should have details where he presently is. Okay. I'll the details and get back to you expressly. That's okay. I said our sympathy. Thank you. Be strong. Sorry. You have to 
get a grip of yourself. Okay? My husband sensed it, you know. He was restless all through the night. That's why he left early to the village. I didn't know he had come back from the trip. I called this phone all through the night but wasn't going through. Listen up. Take it easy. We have to go through with this. I speak we don't have a father anymore. Leo, let's see outside because I have to get back to the village today. Father's religion forbids us to take him anywhere near in mortuary. Yeah, that and it was the survivors to to bury him. It was explicit in his wishes. He forbids us to take him anywhere near in mortuary. It was very explicit. I suggest we bury him first according to the rights he approved. We'll fix the funeral for another date. Why? Yes, why, if I may ask? Is it that we lack money to give him a befitting burial or we can't sit down and uh, discuss amicably on how to bury him as two consenting adults? We're talking about our father's last wishes here. Are you asking me why? Need I remind you that I was the one with him on his deathbed. So I should be in a better position to know his last wish. Need I? What is going on here? Excuse me, I asked a question. Hello? Second son of Chief Yemisi. I was not in the country when he died. But I wish to spend some time with him. To mourn him. Talk to him. To pay my last respect to a great man. I will ask you for some minutes to spend with my father. Accept my sympathy, Mr. Leo. Just give me a few minutes, I'll be right back. Listen, doctor, I don't 
don't care. It's an order. I don't care whatever anybody thinks. Listen, doctor. It is my order. No one must see the cops. Am I understood? Good. It is an order. in charge of it took a cops to a nearby village. I don't know when he's going to come back. So why? You have to come back some other time. See, no one, no one here that can show him to me. This is their urgency. Uh, Mr. Leo, we don't work like that. I'm sorry about the inconveniences it might have caused you. Do come back some other time. Yes. Thank you for your time, Doctor. I shall see you again. My father's religion forbids him to be taken to a mortuary. We all know the brotherhood gave him everything, made him everything. His connections, his wealth. And before his demise, he initiated him into the brotherhood as his next of kin. And now they want his corpse. What am I to do? I cannot stand by and watch the brotherhood become strangers at his funeral. That was not my duty. My duty is to see that this corpse is returned to the brotherhood. Let them deal with it as they see fit. I will not stand by and watch this happen just because I have a stubborn older brother. The issue of next of kin is not what we are discussing now. All we need to do is to come together and then sit and discuss like adults. We just have to sit down and agree on a point and everything will go well. The only way things will go well, Uncle Joe, is to abide by my father's wishes. He made it abundantly clear his corpse is not to be found near a mortuary. So if you want peace to reign, first of all, they must bring back that body from the mortuary. And then I will hand it over to the brotherhood. Everybody knows this. Why are we circumventing? My mother knows this. Do maybe know. Even my brother knows. You on Joe knows. to discuss in that meeting. Leonard! Leonard! Leonard, come back! <sighs> Leo, your father's last testament is in my custody. And its proceedings favored you most than any other member of your family. But we have an obstacle, big problem. Nesta? Your mother. She's a signatory to your father's account. Your signature is important to operate this account. And both of you have to agree to run it. I have a suggestion. What is it? Alteration. Hmm. Alteration? I have to do it. It's the only way. Listen. My mother and my older brother already pitched them together. So this he will never agree. The only way we'll run this, control that burial, is if I'm so signatory to that account. 
It's the only way. You know what? You go home while I do the thinking. Mom, I will not stay alive. Allow or watch anybody out any part of my father's body. I've instructed the doctors and the mortician to keep on his cups. I am the first son of this family. And whatever I say stands. My father must be buried my way. The only way. The Christian way. And that's mine. <sighs> Do baby. Yeah, mom. Tell the driver to take you to the city. When you get there, tell you to come back to the village immediately. I want to avoid a meeting. Eh? Okay. Where are you going? No, I ask you a question. Don't go there and start painting your face. You need to come back here before evening. I wonder why you are avoiding this meeting. Eh? Very important he comes to the village. He has been absent from all the meetings for reasons I do not know. Please tell him to come to the village for us to put a finish to the funeral arrangement. I am an old man. I should be in the village handling things. I'm not shuttling between city and the village. Oh, uncle, please, eh? please do not be offended. I'll talk to him about the meeting as soon as he gets back. It's all right. Uh, I shall the way now. Oh, 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 oh. I'm heating up some food for you, okay? Oh, my wife. I'll give you some of that time. Thank you very much. Are you sure? Yes. I'll give you some of that time. Let me see you. Okay. Thank you. Our tradition and custom forbid that. And our people are against it. How can you deny a man of his right because of his choice of religion? I try to say that Nesta is no longer Raphael's son because he's born again. No, 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 no. I am not saying that. What I'm trying to say is this. I am not against any of the Raphael's sons. I'm only a barrister doing my job. Carrying out instructions left behind by Raphael. He did say that it's only Liu and his mother can withdraw money from that account and he made it categorically clear that Liu is his nest of kin. But the mother is still alive and she does not support the idea of Liu being the nest of kin. So how will it work? I don't know. Maybe you should tell me, hmm? Be the case. I can talk to my father and know what the problem is. 
Just, just calm down. We can always talk at home. If you do that fast, please. you better do that fast. Calm down. I mean, just Yes, Nigel. I don't like the way Dad is handling this issue at all. Nesta is older than Leo. By custom, he is the first son of Uyemesi's family. And so should have access to his father's assets. Dad is not being reasonable at all. I'm not happy about it. Mom, you have to talk to him. <sighs> My dear, I don't know what has come over your father. And I don't know why he should even think of taking side with Liu. Anyway, I will still keep talking to him. Hmm? Pipi, my dear, stop worrying. No. Check what you are cooking. Pippi. Yes, Dad. I wasn't that happy when I was told what to do. When the instruction was given, my whole heart went to you. Knowing how much it could affect you. But there was nothing I could say or do to counter the will. I am only a legal luminary. But you don't have to worry at all. If the finally gets it all, trust me, I will support you and Nesta. I'll be there for you. Dad, what kind of support can you possibly give, give me when you deprive my husband of his rights? I didn't. Dad, you can't do that to us now. You can't. Let's just hope that your husband's obstinacy could lead to something profitable. Dad, you can't just sit here and hope. If anyone has to do anything right, then you're the one. You need to go out there and hear what people are saying about you regarding that issue. Dad, just, you have to do what the culture and traditions say. Oh, Pascaline. Oh, hi, Pascaline. Hi, how are you? Good. How did you, sir? How are you? I didn't know you had company. I am. Uh, I went outside. You do that. Okay. How's your husband? Fine, fine, thank you. <sighs> Pippi, relax and let's see how it goes. Okay? She had gone to influence her father to give everything to Nesta. Hmm. This is serious, you know. Crazy. You know we could lose everything at this point. Everything. This is crazy. If Nesta wins, everything that he's ever slept for, everything he owned, could go to his brethren at the church. That was what Dad was trying to avoid when he named me chief beneficiary. Can't let it happen. I cannot let it happen. Baby, calm down, okay? With the way you're handling this issue, you might just break down. Please calm down. I think I... I have to go and see mother. What about Uncle Joe? He's a hypocrite. Career liar would dance to anybody that pleases to me. Just a dividend of corrupt mind. So, Pascaline cannot see her father anymore because she went to his office to see him, therefore, she's trying to bribe him. <laughs> Dumebi, watch the way you speak to me, okay? Were you not aware that I was at your house and your husband sent me away? No. 
Okay. Fine. But you are aware that Mama has been sending for Liu and he has refused to show up. Look, we are not against Liu or you. All we are trying to say is that Nesta cannot take orders from your husband, who is his younger brother, just because of some nasty religion he is not part of. Jumebe, watch the way you speak to me and refer to my husband, okay? Don't forget that he is my brother too. Oh, okay, um, I'm sorry, okay? I don't mean to make trouble with you, but we're just trying to get things right here. That's all. That's okay. Um, just tell Ma that I was here. And, uh, I need to rush back to the city. It's getting late. Okay. <laughs> okay. My regards to everyone. Take care. This simple arrangement. No. My husband and I were one. If my husband were alive, he wouldn't have supported this. I don't even know how this started in the first place. Eh? Well, what you suggest would be the way out. Well, I think we should uh, involve other members of our kinsmen. Nesta. No, now. This is a family issue. And I believe we can handle it. Leo is my son. I carried him in my womb for nine months and delivered him. So he cannot dictate to me how to bury my husband. Since he has decided not to sign for cash withdrawal, no problem. We will gather the little we have and do this burial. Since he has decided not to, not to sign any, any cash withdrawal, no problem. Uh -huh. Leo, it's good you're here. Come on. It's good you're here. Let us try on this. Okay, Joe, good day, sir. Welcome. My good afternoon. Mm -hmm. My guy has Bible school now. Ah, uh, Mama, I came to see you, but I see you with strangers. I'll, I'll come back. Bia, Leo, Leo, Leo. Let us iron things out here. We go. Now? Yes, now. Okay, Mom. Well, there's nothing to sort out, Mama, seriously. Yeah, it's true. You're sitting here with your favorite son that can do wrong. I'm the black sheep of the family. The agent provocateur, you know, so that's fine. But what you don't know is that this Nikon poop here is the Antichrist. He's the one that sent his wife to his father in law to try to change the will. Yes, steal money off us. Listen, Joe. One more word out of that you're stinking mouth. If you vomit that thing, you vomit it again. I am going to hit you down here. I might be born again, but I'm not stupid. See? It's finally showing his true colors. The pastor wants to beat up the baby brother. But you know what? You're not man enough. Dad knew that I'm the man. And that's why he made me the head nigger in charge. Deal with it. It's evil like you that bring out the evil and godly man. My guy, I've dealt with you before I give you your name. I'm not going to It's okay. That's all right. That's all right. I know why you're rolling your mouth. Don't worry. You'll soon apologize. I'll bury you first before I do that. I'll well, hold him or you'll be losing a son too. I have time for this. I'm a high roller, man. I have time for losing. You will beg, you will apologize. Why I came to you is because you're the closest one to father before he died. And you're one person that everybody respects. My husband was made the next of kin by his father. And no one should take that away from him. No? No one will take it away from him. <sighs> Uncle, Pascaline was at her father's office and I'm sure she was trying to confuse him. Because after that incident, he's been acting really strange. Oliver can never work against Raffles' wish. 
You see, there is something the Uyemese family has got to get right. That the wish of a man before his death is sealed, cannot be changed. I understand what Uncle, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Uncle. Good afternoon. I'd rather go straight to why. Well, anyway, um, before you go straight to um, I was just leaving. So why not? We, we have to have our meal together like a family. Oh, um, please. Probably another time, okay? All right, thanks. Uncle, I'll just get, go straight to why. Uncle, please. I want you to talk some sense into Leo. Leo has gone bananas. The way Leo opens his mouth to talk to people anyhow these days, he should watch it. I'm just coming from Uncle Joe's house for a meeting. Uncle, Leo insulted me and called me names in presence of my mother and Uncle Joe. What did I do wrong? That we should settle this issue. Uncle, please, go and talk some sense into him because the, the day Leo opens his mouth and talk to me in that manner, heaven will let loose on him. That I try to be calm, quiet, to listen to everybody in this family it doesn't make me a fool. Uncle, please, talk to him. Do you know, Leo almost hits my mom and Uncle, um, Uncle Joe with, with, with his car. Uncle Joe's waste is burning him. I am here as a friend of the family. You see, Raphael was a bosom friend before he's dead. So I cannot sit and watch things go wrong. I've been waiting to hear about the date of his funeral, but to no avail. So I just came to know what is happening. Uh, it is the will. Anne says the husband did not write any will before he died. And since this family is not a polygamous one, and besides, She's alive and can handle the, the property as the custom demands. But we have to look for a way to draw our funds because the funeral must hold. Yes. Uh, and besides, Raffle, my friend, told me categorically that his first son was not worthy to handle his word. But let me. You are among those spoiling this family. Eh? That kind of statement shouldn't have come from an elderly person like you. It's all right. I'm so sorry. I have to go. I just came because I care. Yes. All the same. See you some other time. Uh, go yes. and mind your own family. is that Nesta is a Christian. <laughs> I am a barrister. I know, but we must not forget the laws of the land. Bikono, I wedded my husband in the church and we lived a good Christian life. If along the line he joined the fraternity, that is not my business because I am not part and parcel of it. There is no way, absolutely no way, I can turn against my first son just because he's born again. No. <clears throat> well, I advise you to settle with your son, Leo, so that your money can be released to you. Then we go to court. That's right. Yes, we go to court. No one is willing to cooperate and no one is budging. 
In fact, the mother, who is a signatory to that account, is in support of the first son, and she threatened to go to court. And if she ventures, I'm afraid we we'll lose the whole world. Look, look, you won't allow this happen, will you? See, let me tell you something. You are the lawyer in charge here, and you must use all that is available to you to stop them. Moreover, we have to get in touch with other members of the Brotherhood so that they make use of their connections. We must not lose this whole world and our influence to the commoners. But I think we should gather together and say prayer over this situation. I think so too. Yes, I, I think so. because of a mere woman. It is the barrister that I blame for all this. It's two-faced. He came before the brotherhood and declared that what is written is written. And we took his word for it. And the same man is coming around again to tell us that he's legally tied. Illegal luminary. My dear, I just wonder. I know when this all started. I was at his office a few weeks ago and I saw his daughter Pascaline there. And since then, I can tell you, his loyalty to the Brotherhood has waned considerably. Yes, yes. I observed that also. He has become like a discipline about the whole issue. No point. We must tread carefully, sir. Let me look at the course of events as they unfold. And I'll know what next decision to take. It's all right, my dear. Thank you, sir, for your concern. I'll keep you up to speed. Is there anything about me that you don't know? I don't think so. Sweetheart. Yeah. There's something I want you to make me understand. Yeah. Well, um, I heard Nestor is being pushed and being denied his right because he's a born again. Is it true? And if it is true, what do you and your father have against the church? Nesta is not being pushed because he's born again. And we have absolutely nothing against the church. Father was not a Christian. Every man has a choice to his religion. And I'm not exactly Christian, but I'm not a pagan either. He asked me to run things because I'm the best qualified for the job. I stay close to him while he was running the empire and I have all the necessary degrees to baby. You know I have two MBAs in business and that's just how the world runs. It's not by birthright you run things. It's by logicality. It's that simple. And as to his preferences, the wishes of a dead man is the wishes of a dead man. That's simple, baby. Okay. Holy, my dear. Yes, darling. Please, 
You have to look into this case strongly. Remember, Nesta is your daughter's husband. And anything that affects him also affects our daughter too. Mama Pipi. I've had all that you said. Change this topic. Do not stretch. I'll buy red. You are bored. Sorry. I have said my own. What's going on? You're acting funny or late. How do you mean? Since your daughter came here to see you, your countenance has changed. You are out of your mind, young man. My daughter has every right to come and see me whenever deems fit to her. Of course. But it's also obvious she's buying you over. <laughs> you are rather getting insolent. Get out of my office now. Okay. Give me a copy of my dad's will and I'll leave. Which of them? The one you gave me or the one your father has in my custody? Doesn't matter, I'll get it myself. Oh hell breaks a little for anything you I'm very sorry. I'm sincerely very sorry for Leo's uh, behavior. I don't know what has come over him lately. What, what, what do we call this? Hitting you? I mean, I, I don't know what has come over, over Leo. What's the meaning of all this? Uncle, please, please, I don't know. Please, just, just forgive. Forgive and forget. Um, I brought um, a little gift downstairs to come and say we are sorry. Because, I don't know, I don't know what must have pushed Leo into doing an act that is as shameful as this. Okay. The apology has been accepted. Thank you very much. And you're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. So, how is uh, Pipi and Sandra, my daughters? Well, they are there. They are very well. I'm very sure that uh, Pascaline will be so much, very, very happy to hear that you have forgiven us. You're no, you're not more, uh, you know, angry with us. You now lack a sense of judgment. Are you finished? Because if you are, I'm sure you're familiar with the door. And I'm also sure you know how busy I am. May I remind you that is my father-in-law we are talking about here. You hate an old man just because of a mere will. Leo. Going too far. Just watch it. You are going too far. Your wife connived with her father to rip me of my benefits. And you stand here and shoot your mouth off like it's not provoking enough. You know how to use the door. Use it. I'll forgive you this one. Watch it. Watch your story. Who is it? I'm coming. Ah, Mama Pity. Hey! 
Today about. Just hold it there. By the way, where is her husband? He's not home. Is there a problem? Yes, there is. Tell him when he comes back that I came here so he can beat me the way he beat my husband. What? He beat your husband? <laughs> Ask me again. Just tell him to thank his stars I didn't meet him. Mama! 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 wish of a dead man. But he don't want his corpse anywhere near much oil. For any reason at all. Your brother, his successor brought him here. I'm not here to trade wars with you, Doctor. It is my duty to fulfill my father's last wishes. Or are you, or are you not going to help me? Mr. Lee, I'm sorry I cannot do that. You were not the person that brought and registered him here. So I cannot give you the cops. Your brother was with him when he passed on. So I suggest you guys sit down and talk this over. If this blows out of proportion, this hospital will be too hard for you. Trust me. I don't make empty threats, doctor. See, I, I am not making any trouble here. All I'm saying is that things should be done properly. Majesty, I thought you were going to ask. Can't you see the plaster on my face? Yes, I was about asking. That little boy Leo hit me and gave me this injury. What? Actually, I'm on my way to the hospital to get the stitches removed. How can you begin to do this to a topper? Huh? Your Majesty. Anyway, I, I will see him. I will see him. Nonsense. was badly injured. It was even stitched. Here! That bad? Oh, Chineke. What is that boy turning into? Eh? What is wrong with Leo? Where did he learn all this from now? Eh? What is Leo turning into? Oh, Biko. Biko, forgive. Oh, forgive. But you know I have not started going out. As soon as I can, I'll go and see your father. Oh, Nebigo. Hi, Chineke, Hi. Mommy, mommy, you, you have to talk to you. You have to talk to him. He's biting more than he can chew. What kind of problem is this? I don't understand you anymore. Ha. I don't understand the gilu. Sorry, stop crying. Oh, 
You are spoiling things for yourself. Your father made everything so easy for you. But with the rate you're going, you might lose it all. You're going too far. I mean, you had no right whatsoever to hit that man. A man old enough to be your father? Your in-law? How insolent can you be? Even the meetings at the village has had no effect on you. You insult people, you work out on people. How wealthy do you think you are? Listen, hon. You cannot get their support if you keep acting that way. So what do I do now? Good. Well, um, I think you should talk to Uncle Joe. Sit him down, talk man to man with him. If you give him a good amount of money, I'm sure he'll start dancing to your tune. He's next to your father. And if you have his support, you have it all. Hey! This is from my wardrobe. <laughs> I have been saving this for a day like this. Um, let me pass it back to you, Uncle. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you are the true son of your father. <laughs> um, I will go and bring Mama Chuka back. And I'll start a trade for, a very good trade for Chuka, my son. Then, <laughs> I will buy a bus that will be running on transport for me. Yes, you are the true son of your father. I can now see what your father saw in you that made him to make you his highest beneficiary. Thank you. <laughs> hey, but you must attend tomorrow's meeting so that it doesn't look like a planned deal. No problem. Um, I'll be there. Good. You can drink this. Drink all of it if you can. <laughs> no, I'm driving on my way back. All right, all right. But that's fine. You guys start a celebration. <laughs> Let me hit the road. Okay. I'll make the meeting tomorrow. Do you, in the name of everything you hold there, don't report this to the Brotherhood. Let this be known only to you, Carlos and I. He's still a boy. And he's really apologetic. But I know why I decided to become about this. That boy Leo is making things difficult for himself. There's a way that you go about an issue and you lose the benefits completely. Well, I take it that if accepted, please do this for Raffle, if not for me. It's all right. I see what I can do. Sir, yeah. I'm here to remind you about your meeting with Kesinko's Petroleum in the next 30 minutes. Oh, I forget. Get the fire sweat and we leave soon. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I would want to have a word with you. And a word with you? I hope all is well. It's about Nesta, sir. Nesta? What about him? You see, sir, Nesta does not want to allow sleeping dogs lie. He does not want his brother to take what rightfully belongs to him. And he's delaying his father's funeral. I have discussed this matter with Nesta, but he has been adamant. I told him to leave devil's gift, it is of no use. 
I wonder why he want to soak his hand in money made from blood. I've been talking. And I will still try. I told him to give uh, to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. I wouldn't want anyone running to me later on for family liberation and covenant breaking. Or breaking of courses. I, I will talk to him some more. I will. Please do, sir, because the strife and rancor they are trying to build up will not go well for the family. I will. I will still speak to him again. Please do, sir. Um, sir, you are a very busy man. Moreover, you are having your meal, so... How can we do Sir, I don't want to join you now. I'll just have my meal, sir. Sorry. But you are blessed. You're scaring me. I don't know who has been following me. The cat dragged me right from the hospital. Go. Nesta, you told me that your father is a cultic. You ran to the church because you didn't want to be used for rituals. How come? How come you are now fighting to be the head of world cutting through evil means. Less than and less than good, my son. If you reject the devil, you reject all his works and gifts. Leave your brother who believes and belongs to them to have it all. I am born again. Yes. And that doesn't make me stupid. Even when Jesus Christ entered his father's house and saw it being turned to a marketplace. He cleared everyone and sanitized the house. I won't let this evil continue in my own father's house. I will sanitize my father's house through this opportunity. <laughs> Master, are you teaching me the Bible? No, sir, I can't teach you the Bible. In times like this, we have to rub minds together. You have always taught me that iron sharpened iron. I will not release my father's cups to those cultists. It's not possible. I won't. Well, you better think of what I have told you. How is your mother? Oh, mommy is very well, thank you. Good. Are you saying that I should hold on for now? Yes. You know, the people you're coming to introduce yourself to are the same people planning for this burial and they will not want to listen to anything else till the burial is over. That's why. It's alright. You're right. But I just can't wait to have you all to myself. 
Oh, darling, you have me all to yourself already. You put this in. I sure did. <laughs> so, where exactly are you going from here? My lunch time is over. Um, my niece and nephew, uh, today is their visiting day at school and I would love to visit them before I go. It's okay, that means I'll drop you off then. Oh, fine. Yeah. Oh, you guys are okay, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Auntie, you don't come to visit us these days. Uh, but I'm here now. After a very long time. <laughs> so that's not mean you guys missed me. Oh, darlings, I miss you guys too. But you know, a lot has been happening at home recently. Like what, auntie? Mm, you want me to tell you? But you guys have to promise me that you'll be as strong as... Ninja! Yes. Listen, okay? Grandpa has traveled. He has gone to be with the Lord. And he's not coming back soon. So you will see Grandpa again? You will see Grandpa again, but not in the, not in the nearest future. It's going to be after a long time. Are we going to be there at the St. Paul's party? Of course, everyone is going to be at the St. Paul's party, okay? But I must assure you that Grandpa traveled happily, okay? It's time. Everything that I still need Your visiting day is over, let's go, okay? I'll come and visit you very, very soon, yeah? yeah. <coughs> the kids men have agreed that we can use our contributions to very rapidly. So that this video can be done in two weeks time. Tejo, that is better. By the time I contribute and Nesta contributes, we will have enough to bury my husband. Instead of waiting for this trouble to escalate. They, I just want to bury my husband and mourn him peacefully. I know what this is all about. You said you look like a no part of the queen, right? Okay. If I agreed, whatever has to be done to give her a befitting burial, I'm part of it. We don't have to manage this, you know. Not a man of that's structure we be statues to life for that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Only you and I will go to the bank. Since we are both signatories, we'll do enough to make this. Leo, we understand you. But let us leave your father's will out of this. If I contribute, Nesta contributes and you add your own, we'll have more than enough. Why are we manage when we know that we have more than enough money? Uncle, I don't understand this. If I disagree, there's a problem. I agree, there's a problem. I said if I agree, whatever plans you people want to start with, let's go ahead and make it happen. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. I've given up, baby. That's it, I'm done. I can't deal with these people anymore. They still insist on burying him two weeks from now. Against his wish. Now, I can't do anything. Well, if that's what they want, then I guess we just have to join them. So when do we stop preparing to travel? Wait a minute. What of Obi now? Mm, I'll pick him up two or three days before the event. Okay. Well, Leonard. Accepting this proposal is quite dangerous, you know. Now that he has agreed to sign, honestly, Nesta, I think it's better we leave this issue of will and face the funeral. I, I wonder why it should be an issue when Dad hasn't been buried. Sweetheart, honestly, the will hasn't been an issue for me. What I am after and what I'm concerned about is for my father's scalps to be buried the right way. Whether Leo is going to gain anything in the process or lose anything, that is secondary for now. <sighs> so that, that reminds me, please, we really have to see your father before we get to the village. Yes, we really have to. We finish. Oh, please, don't forget my... Uh... But how can you allow that to happen? The consequence will be unbearable for us if Raphael is buried with all the necessary parts we need. It will be a terrible thing if Leo is the problem that I have. 
he makes things very, very difficult for the Brotherhood and himself. So, what do we do now? Well, as it is, we have to attend the burial funeral individualistically rather than as Brotherhood. <laughs> You, you can say such a thing. There's nothing else to be done, sir. Doctor. Why are you trailing me? You've been trailing me all over the town. What is it you want from me? I'm trained in a peculiar way, Doctor. My father trained me to believe he can get anything he wants. Anything, no exception. I know where you live. I know where your wife works. I know where your kids go to school. I know your club. I even know that little sweet girl you have on the side. I guess all men are like in that respect, right? We <laughs> like that. Hmm. I didn't come here for that. I came here to make you a proposition. And um, what could that be? Okay. I'm a wealthy man, doctor. But not the kind of wealth you can imagine on most mortal men. I'm wealthy beyond most men's imaginations. Which means you can name any figure that comes to your head. Any figure. In whatever currency you like. And I'll make it happen right here, right now. I only need you to allow me to have my father's body for one day. Allow me to perform my duties. I'll let you have the body in good time for the funeral. In that way, you'd have made more money than most men ever. And on the other hand, you fulfill your professional duty by delivering the body to my family in time for the funeral. Hmm? Nobody will know. Trust me, I do not divulge secrets. Just you and me. Two of us, or I think three of us in this respect. You, me, and my dead father. <laughs> I say we don't have a sense of humor here. What do I say, Doctor? You have two options, really. Two. You can become a very wealthy man, very wealthy. Or. I can make elaborate arrangements to make you join my father fast. Think about it carefully. This could be a life threatening situation of your voice. But I have no fear. But from what I heard, I hear doctors are uh, very apt to emergencies. You should smile more, doctor. It's not the end of the world. It has to be by 9 a.m. So you want to leave me? Stay for breakfast. No, no. I'll come back and see you. So how is your mommy? Mommy's fine. It's just that sometimes she'll just drift into this solitude mood and... I understand. You know, oh, it's okay. I should be the one crying, you know. <laughs> Where is your mother? Where is your mother?
Yula is coming. Mm -hmm. Let her come first. This place has to be cleaned. Nesta's family is coming back today. What you saw? Mm. What did you say? Raphael visited me in the night. My husband? Yes. And uh, he had tears in his eyes when he was talking. And he said a lot of things. So. The, what, what, what did he say? That uh, I should make a fire stand for him. That when he is, it's too cold for him. He said a lot of things. I couldn't sleep again until early hours of this morning. The, does that mean that he's not happy being in the mortuary? I don't know. But you people should please count me out from now with every arrangement you people are making. Please, I am no more in support of the burial. De, uh, Dejo. Dejo. Please. I don't understand. Is it just because of one dream? So that is why he doesn't want to take part in any burial plans again. Mama, this dream is funny. Just because of one dream, he has cancelled everything. He's not taking his brother's burial. What kind of dream is that? My shadow has been so I heard his funeral death has been fixed. Pastor. I might not be in the and that is why I'm here. Pastor, there's something bothering me. What could that be? My husband's brother was here earlier today. And he told me that my husband visited him last night and that he was not happy about what is going on and where he is. I'm not surprised. I told Nesta that if his father wanted his body to be put in the grave, he should obey his wish. He belonged. I'm burying him there away. These are the causes of most mysterious deaths you hear about in before you know it everyone will start gathering for convenient breaking avoid it i'm praying for that it's not still that bad even the bible says respect the laws of the land and that of the church well i will still try to talk to him and do more prayers on the issue. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Where is this man? Take this to support the barrier. <laughs> Pastor, please, no. You shouldn't do this. Oh, please manage it. It is a token. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ah, uh, Pastor, please pardon my manners. What do I offer you? Do maybe? Do maybe? What's up? How you doing? I do great. Ah, yeah. Hey, 
I just, I just go back to the village now. Yes. Yes, I just go back. You, I told you. Yeah. I will. What yeah. happened? What happened? No, what happened is that. No, I had to. I had to. I had to. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll call. I'll call you back. Okay. Bye bye. He said it's not fair and that he will not be part of anything anymore. Is that so? Well, okay. I know what to do. Uh, what of uh, Leo? Is he back? Yeah, he's inside. Thank you, my son. Thank you very much. You have given me life again. <laughs> you know, I tell you, your father once gave me money, a huge amount of money, and he told me again <laughs> to my it. The one I will hide it. <laughs> Support me to be leader. Mm -hmm. Won't surprise you. It's a part already. Uncle, Uncle Jack. Creating chaos everywhere. How do you insist on going this exercise and freedom? Never. Let the old man be buried as he is already appearing to people, you know. Mm. Oh dear, oh dear. Mm. My brother doesn't anymore. So you are not around you. How come hasn't appeared to any any of his children yet been appearing to strangers and you believe that isn't it obvious that uncle joe wants to back out and you, you're not seeing it from that angle anyway i can stand on this yes i can they say one is majority Keep fooling yourself. Spend your money. Keep deluding yourself. This fire can only be quenched by both of you. The duties of a wife include peacemaking. Not just in the nuclear family, but also in the extended family. Both of you should talk to your husbands. Don't just be OS members. Mommy, 
I do not have a problem with anyone. I am not on anybody's side. Hmm? Whatever is happening between the brothers is between both of them. And I believe that they will definitely come together and settle their differences. Mom, hmm? my own question is how this issue affects my father. Hmm. Right now, I am not in good terms with my father. And Leo, her husband, blames me for what I know nothing about. All I'm saying here is that we should go to my father's house formally to apologize for what Leo Hey, hey shut that dirty mouth of yours. Eh? Huh? How dare you call my husband's name in vain? Mama? Did my husband talk wait, to your wait, father? Wait, wait, Apple, orange, or whatever they call you. I am not your mate to watch your mouth. Hey, Pasclin or pineapple, whatever that your stupid name is. Eh? Mama? Listen to me. I am not scared of you. If you like, come and beat me here. What is the age difference between both of us? I Tell me. Blame Tell you. me. Oh, I don't blame you. I will show you. What is this family? What's, what's happening here? Oh. What is yes. this? Oh, I will show you. Both of you should sit down. Oh. Both of you should sit down. I said sit down. Pascaline. Let this be the last time both of you will ever quarrel before me. Now I have seen your plans. Both of you are just planning to send me to an early grave. It's this one here. Shut, shut up! It's not... Mama, mama, let him. It will not work! Mama, mama, shut up. Stand up. Stand you. Up. Stand up, stand up. Mama, you. Let's... I've been seeing hey. my dreams all the time. And I know... Hey. Mama, this girl will kill you. She's a witch. Mm -hmm. witch. You've not... When I leave, you push me. Mama, let's go. You've never seen me. Go for a prayer. I'm going you to do your for prayers. Wrench. I'll go for a prayer. Don't worry. You're very little. You're going to fly in your black house. You're very little. I will show you that I came into Yemesis family before you. Just watch and see. All you guys are doing of Mama. Felix, as this is before you know what we're saying. Um, the posters uh, will be uh, will be uh, they finish uh, pasting the posters uh, by the I weekend. I like this one. Yeah. Hey, 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 Uncle, the doctor is here to see you. Okay, let him in. Wow, Dad is looking so handsome. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm sure I'm sure he took these pictures before he fell ill. Yeah, he took it during the last uh, New Year festival. And I miss you and I love you. I wish you were here. <sighs> Mom, it's okay. Come on. Take it easy. Ah, oh, dog. I hope all is well. You're not looking too good. What is it? Next door is your father's house. What happened? It is disturbing the peace of the whole hospital, not just the monk. I tried seeking for help, but I was warned to take it away or it will cause more problems for me. Doctor, the funeral is in five days. Please, I beg you in the name of God, please just give us this last five days. Look. The poster is out. This is just the poster. They are, they are pasting it now. Announcement on television and radio. All arrangement for the future. It's, it's in top gear. Where else do you want me to take the cops to at this point in time? Doctor, you know the situation surrounding these cops. You are no longer a stranger to this family. Please, I beg you. We are pleading. Please. Five days. Okay, I I can be patient for five more days. But the problem is that the morticians, the attendants, they're all complaining. Okay. Okay, I I will talk to them. Doctor, please. Just talk to them. Beg them on our behalf. Please. Let them exercise patience. Please. Must be on my way then. So soon? Why don't you stay and have lunch with us? No, I, I have a surgery to carry out in, in, in two hours' time.
4 دس دينار ما هو Get it out of my way. You know all her problem. As I have decreed, so shall it be unto her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, for the answer. Thank you, Lord. Let your name be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is done. Amen. Amen. Oh, God bless you. It is done. Make sure you come back after you have done the fasting and prayers. Day, my daughter, sit down. Thank you, sir. Uh, I hope you have not been waiting for so long. <laughs> it's all right, Pastor. Pascal, sir, your husband. He say he doesn't eat meat. Yet he uses his own teeth to share it amongst children. Pascal, sir, what is different between your husband and the people he calls unbelievers? My husband. Yes. You and your husband came to me and told me that your father-in-law was a cultic. How come he is still struggling over a cultic world? Daddy, it's not really the way you see it. But thank God we've been able to sort it out and he'll be buried in two days. Actually, I came to fix the time for the church service. Yes, it is 9 a.m. I've just discussed with your husband over the phone a few minutes ago. But I won't be at the reception because I'll be traveling for Calabar immediately after the service. It's all right, it's all right. Thank you. Just please see the church secretary to register it. Thank you, The sir. Lord will be with you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I want to dash down to uh, Sandra's school to pick her up. It's already 4 o'clock. Then I join you? No, that won't be necessary. Just stay at home and prepare lunch, okay? Mm -hmm. I won't be long, All right. okay? Alright, excuse me. But before you leave, there's something I want to tell you. It's very important. I hope that's no problem. No. Okay. I'm all here. Darling, it's like... No one is interested in this burial thing anymore. And everyone seems to be developing cold feet at this time minute. I'm your husband. Your eyes and your mind will be fixed on me. Listen. Watch me. Watch me and monitor what I do. Okay? You have to support me this time around. If you really love me. Okay? Mm -hmm. Even the pastor Forget said. Forget the pastor. The pastor can say whatever he feels like. See, 
We all are different human beings with different ways of reasoning. The pastor is not a member of this family, so he cannot understand what's going on here. So like, listen. You have to watch me fully and support me. If you truly love me, please. The next thing we're going to do is just find a way to finally get to your father and um, let him know about the new burial arrangement, okay? Okay, love. Now all of these people beside you. That's my baby. I love you, baby. Just Dad, if you're looking for what to do, go and play with Obina. Obina does not play with me anymore. Anytime he calls me, me and the apple and Tinky will take him away, and I'm sure he did not do anything wrong. I'm sure he did not do anything, my dear. Don't worry, he'll come around. Maybe Auntie Apple wants, wants him to come and help in the house. He had to take, she had to take him. Okay. Are you hungry? I have to don't take him away. Wow, you're lucky. <laughs> Come, let's watch this movie. See how you're sweating. They've agreed that you are going to sweat or not. I will not sweat to any hope. I said so. All I want is my daughter. No, Soka! What have you come to do in my house? Oh, Bina, look at your nails, huh? You should learn to keep your nails tidy. Look at how they're overgrown. Don't they inspect your nails at school? Your Nose look like a lion's claws. Mom, is it true that Daddy beat up Aunt Pippi's father? Oh, Bina, where did you hear that? I overheard Grandma telling the elders yesterday. Oh, Bina, you've been eavesdropping, and that is very, very wrong. Promise, Mommy, you won't do that again. Mommy, I promise. But is it true? Oh, Bina, it is not true. Okay. Do not mind anybody, okay? You know your father cannot do such a thing. Mm-hmm. I know that my daddy cannot do such a thing. Good. And hasn't he always taught you to respect your elders? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's my son. Have you done your homework? No. All right. Go inside and go into your homework. Hurry up. Nobody is happy anymore. There's so much animosity in the air. Do we pretend it's not there? Make him change the date. I have this bad Daughter, what you have said has been on my mind. I am tired of everything. I didn't know it would get to this point. Huh? But it's okay. I'll talk to him. But you know your husband can be so obstinate if he wants to be. I know. I know. Just try. I know he will listen to you. No, but I will... Hmm. Sandra. Where is Obin? He's in his house. He has not come to play with me. Oh, mom. Don't worry. He will come and play with you. Oh, maybe he's busy with his mother. Come and take an orange. Let me give you this small one. Oh. Thank you. Oh, my dear. You took everything. Don't worry, I'll talk to you. Why are you doing all this over and over again? Why are you so damn dumbheaded? 
answers my father were talking about, not yours. Exactly. I wonder why every member of your family is preparing for the funeral and you are talking about the cops. Did I remind you who you're talking to? Hmm? There is no need for that. I already know who you are. Who you are gods now, huh? Another bulk to be squashed. I'll see you around. What kind of a son is this? See, you have to go and offer apologies to Barista Oliver. You know, you need his support during the midnight sacrifice. He's the only obstacle you might have. And the sacrifice has to be performed so that even if they go ahead and bury him, nothing will happen to you. All right, sir. I'll go and see him. All right. Please do. He's like an uncle to you. Yeah, I'm sure he will accept you. Let me pick up my wife. She, she, she should be able to help me, and then I'll, I'll go and see him immediately. Yes, all right. yes, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank, you. Thank you, sir. I'll call you immediately. I'm finished. Please forgive us, sir. I wasn't happy when I heard about it. You know. We are your children. And you can only correct us when we go wrong. I'm sorry. Well, uh... I'm sorry, sir. I'm really am. I, um, I was overwhelmed with this situation and... I made a pretty bad judgment, uh, which is a bad call. You know me since I was a baby, I'm, I'm not disrespectful, I just couldn't handle the pressure, I'm sorry. Well, I don't hold any grudges against you. Neither am I quarreling with you. But what you should understand is this, Leo. You are going about this rashly. be good for you and I. Am I communicating? Thank you, baby. Yeah, I'll be outside. Sorry, is the bar starting? What it portrays. Honestly, Nesta is now a Zonyagwanan. He doesn't believe in what everybody has to say. He only believes and he wants his word to stand. The, I'm not comfortable with the whole funeral arrangement anymore. I have a feeling that something bad is in the offing. 
I'm not comfortable again. I don't say anything. No. Bye-bye, sir. Mm. So, okay, how far? Did you find what you went out to look for? I no, no. But the woman said she'll be bringing from this evening. Mm. Mama, how are you? I left some food in the kitchen for you guys. Sir. I think I'm very hungry. I just want you to be at a last. Your man? Okay. If you if you trust your man, I think I'm fine with that. Okay. Thank you very much. Next up. My son. Anything about this My father must be buried the Christian way. That is it. I've started making arrangements for this burial. The television announcement is on, the radio, and the print media. Mama, the poster is already out. And right now, I am on my way to go to a dude that will conduct the burial service. But can't you see there's there's no amount of persuasion that can change this? Please. I just gave you an advice. Mom, keep your advice up. Things are the same. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. But, you know what? There will be no service here tomorrow. You know why? After speaking to Nesta and his family, all of them agreed that they will postpone the burial. But that idiot went ahead with the burial. I have strongly instructed all my members, I mean, all the brothers and sisters in this church, that there will be no service here tomorrow. Let that stupid monkey go ahead and do the burial. We shall see. Yes. That's why I'm here. Good. The burial will actually take place tonight. So that even after the burial, there will, nothing will happen to Neil. Nothing will definitely happen to Neil. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> you are there.
Day. Hmm. Mama, I'm scared of tomorrow. Even Uncle Joe is not here. Pascal, Ma, we must finish what we started. Nobody is going to back out at this 11th hour. Everything you have prepared cannot be wasted. Let tomorrow come. We will handle it. Hmm. Mama, if you say so. If you say so. No. Don't worry. Your husband is a very strong man. Oh? Just see me get home. Exempted yourself from the funeral arrangement just because of a mere dream. And here you are asking me how far. What do you want me to tell you? No, no, Nesta, please, it's not like that. I did not walk out. I didn't exempt myself. Let me tell you who ha.
My wife. What is happening? Why are women are busy there doing one thing or the other? So when I didn't see you, I decided to come to your wing to find out what is wrong. Anyways, it's my husband. He's asked me to remain indoors. Why should your husband ask you to remain indoors? The people there are your people. Hmm? The king's men have decided that the bear was gone. So there is nothing anyone can do about it. I've also been wondering why my husband asked me to remain indoors. But I don't have a choice, do I? Well, since your husband has asked you to stay indoors, you have to. I will look for him and speak with him. We are one, and we have to do everything together. Well, I have to go now. Okay. Hey. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you. Look at this old man. After collecting all our money, you couldn't do anything. Now you want to come and hear what I'll say. God save you. Must be somewhere around in the compound. Let me go and see. Yeah. Yeah. Where is your husband? Hmm. He went out this evening, and ever since then, he hasn't been back. Brandon, let me ask you why are you not participating in the funeral? You just locked yourself indoors all through today. You don't even care about the whole arrangement. Eh? Or Guinea? Ma, it's not that I don't want to take part in anything. It's just that I don't want to step on anybody's toes. Look at how my husband went to the extent of beating up his own in-law. I am scared. I don't want to cause problems for anybody. Besides, Leo asked me to stay indoors. But if you want me to do something for you, I will do it. Mm -hmm. If your husband said you should stay indoors, no problem. But is that why you're restricting Obina's movement in the house? I've not set my eyes on that boy today. I mean, how can I do such a thing? You know I can't. He's been playing with his video game all through the day, and besides, he has exams coming up, so he's been really busy learning. Mm. No problem. Apple, if you and your husband want to lock yourselves upstairs, no problem. But nobody should touch that boy for me. People should leave my grandson for me. Okay, it's okay. Okay. There's no point going upstairs again. I was I was coming to see you. Alright. I'm moving on to the Doctor, I couldn't find my father's house. Mr. calm down. Mr. I, I don't know how this happened. You are aware of it? 
Um, let's start. Wait, 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 I knew, I knew, in fact, I knew this was going to happen. But uh, let's rush to the church first. Let's start. Let's go to the church. Good morning, madam. Good morning. Sorry, madam. There's an order from the police commissioner of this state that nobody should be seen around this church premises. Why? It's because the overseer of this church was arrested early this morning. Thank you. Don't be offended. We are just doing our work. We cannot leave.
What's going on here? Nothing, sir. It's just that there was an order from the Commission of Police of the State that nobody be seen in or outside of this church premises. What? Why? The overseer of the church was arrested early this morning. So, if you don't mind, sir, you cannot leave. Huh? Sorry, we are doing our We are judging. Please take everybody here down to your house. Leo and his people were seen. Why is a crime scene? Please, please, please. Any of you now? Please, M mommy, please, mommy, I'll sort it out. Please, mommy, oh! mommy please. please. How are you? Come on, sit down. Don't tell me this. Daddy is gone and gone forever. I'm a car. Can you just keep Okay? You and I crying won't bring him back. Remember your mother. You have to stand by her now. Call her. Okay? Emeka, there is more to it. There is nothing more to it. Okay? Now, everybody. Mm -hmm. 
I'm so sorry I came at this time. I actually got a call from a friend who is a doctor. He told me that a corpse is missing from his mortuary. So I had to distribute my message. You know how we work. So I must tell you terrible things do happen in this world these days. It's terrible. So, so my, my guy sent me to collect the money from you. Yes. Where is the cops? The cops is safe with us. We just need the money. <laughs> my brother, they have money. So money is not a problem. Are you sure the cops is safe with us? It's not a problem. It the cops is safe with us. Case. Let's go. You are under arrest. What? You are under arrest. For what? So you don't know that me and my men have been following you since. And so what? Shh. Officer, move in. Let's go. I know a few people know what you are trying to do. Officer, move in. I'm the general of a I'm so officer. Let's go. Move. Never move. A pastor and overseer of a church was mentioned. So we went for him during my investigation. What happened? What's the problem? What's going on? Uh, do a bit fiance. Uh, hold on a minute. Does it mean the corpse in question is your father's? Yes. That's my father's. This is serious. This is serious. I found your father's corpse. What? What is the problem? What is it? Some of the hey! Christ! Who, 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 who did this? Who did this? It's good you're here. <laughs> what do we do now? Who can who kind of problem is this? We continue. Somebody's making talk, we just have to arrest my dad. Oh, not again. What kind of problem is this? I don't know. I'm just carrying out his last wishes. The situation overwhelmed me. It's okay. Mm. Just be brave. Well, uh, I've called my personal lawyer already. He's making an arrangement to come and take you out of bed. Just hang on. I hope we'll leave it here. Leave it there. I deserve whatever you have to do to talk about.
Ndaze, please come in. Okay, you're here. Please, take this food flight to my car. Wonderful. What are you doing? It's food. Give it to Under arrest. You your Whatever you say here may be used against you. I'm the senior advocate of Nigeria. Officer, keep quiet. Get out of my office. 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 I'm not going to move. Let's go. My friend, I'm going to go. Let's go, let's go. To the station to see your husband. I am not going to any police station. Why? I your husband. He all belongs to a cult? What? I've been living with this man for so many years. I did not even belong to a cult. Leo! Please just stop crying. You've cried enough. I'm so not going to any police station, okay? You guys should just go. I can handle it. Let's let's just go. I can go alone. Are you crying enough? Just get up. Let's go inside. Cops?
leave you guys alone to explain things to you. You see, I purposely separated them to different prisons to avoid any kind of mistakes. You see, Brotherhood are a very prominent people. And they have people virtually everywhere, even in the government. So I will advise we should take it very, very careful with them. Yeah, let me go. See, let me go. I know you can do it. As a police officer, I know you can do something. See, my problem here, my main problem is just my brother and my in law just secure a release. You see, I understand, okay? But for now, I cannot do much. You know, I'm acting on orders from above. Uh, yeah, yeah. I understand. <sighs> Can I go see them at least? Sure. I can arrange that. Shall we? A secret cult. Well, oh, Nestor, he is the person that gives out information to the Brotherhood. Everything you ever told him in confidence about where about your father's corpse, where he was deposited in, and the particular chairs he was in was never a secret. He practically gave out all the information to the Brotherhood. Look at him. in you. I, I trusted you. Jesus Christ. So you're a member of the secret cult. And you'll be pretending all this while. Mm. My God, wonder shut in my head. No wonder it's time you introduce yourself as a born-again Christian or as a pastor. People dread you more. Please, please, it's the hand of the devil. It's, it's the handwork of the devil. Save my face and that of your church. It Shut is, up! It is the hand of the devil. Move, move. The hand of the devil. Come on. Move, move. Where is Abu? She's fine. She's not come to see me since I came here. Yeah, I wish you listened to me. But don't worry. Everything will be fine. Okay? To me, B. Please talk to your friends. Learned my lesson. I'm not a bad person. I was just carrying our father's beating. So the wish of my father. This place is not a place for human beings. I don't wish my worst enemy here. This case is not in court yet. Let them withdraw the case. I will. I, I just hope he can do what. But don't worry, I'll talk to him. You have to be strong for us now. Please. <laughs> um, Nesta, see, uh, really, 
much. Other than, you know, aiding the corporates. Can you imagine they promised to pay him 3 million naira and that made him join the accounts? 3 million naira? Uncle? Uncle, why? Uncle, I trusted you so much. Please help me. How could you do this? Can he be paid now? Um, the commissioner said he shouldn't be paid for now. Eh? Hey. What of my brother and my in-law? Actually, there's... It's a serious one. But not to worry, I'll do something about that. Please, I beg you in the name of God, just help us. It's alright, madam. It's okay. Make her please. Do what you can. I mean, their continuous stay in detention is traumatic enough. Mm. Please. Mm. You, you know, it's not a mother case. Just take it to court. Please. I just, I just hope I can do something for them, but... How was I supposed to know that he wasn't fighting for a just cause? I didn't even know that he belonged to that court. God, where do I start from now? Let's pray that he comes back. Thank you. Go downstairs, okay? I'm sure Obina is playing somewhere around. of you. I need my husband back. Please take him out of there. Look at me. Look at my son. We cannot live without a father. The husband. Please, sir. Please. You have to take it easy. We are doing all we can. We want him out of there too. We don't want anything to happen to him. Remember, my father is also behind bars. And it's a case of courtesan. And so we should not go out in a hurry. Son, I have a confession to make. I've done a lot of things in my life of which I am not proud of. It's no secret that I am in a court. They made me will all my properties to your junior brother. I wasn't happy doing it, but I only did it because I was afraid they would kill me. You are the first product of my lives, and heavens will not forgive me if I do not give you your rights and their privileges. Hmm. 
the brotherhood are strong. But it's only if they can lay hands on my body parts. I am weak and tired. Please pray for me. Well, you should have told me this all along. It wouldn't have been this bad. My day would have been worse if the brotherhood had known that my father withdrew all the benefits from Leo. It would have been disastrous. It's okay. He he will soon be out. It's 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 not a mother case. Come on, dry your tears. Crying will not bring him out. We are doing our best to make sure that he comes out. Stop crying. Stop. He's hiding now. Stop. He'll soon be <laughs> out. <laughs> How are you? Oh, come on, don't give me that look. Just calm down, okay? Everything will soon be over. Your uncle should be released any moment from now, okay? Emeka, there is so much sorrow in my house right now. Nobody is happy. Everybody just keeps brooding and thinking of what's going to happen next. And to think that you caused all this. Just, just see where it has gotten him to. See, I, I understand how you feel, okay? But let's just be thankful to God that I am involved right now. It could have been worse than this. Come on, just cheer up my wife to be. Come on, that's my girl. <laughs> hey, Nesta, why didn't you tell me this thing at the beginning now, eh? If you had told me, I would have known how to handle it. You would not have gotten to this extent. You don't understand. It would have been worse if I had told you. If the brotherhood had gotten a wind of it, they would have used the statement against me. You know, these people are very smart people. I mean, honestly, I just wanted to know what was on everyone's mind. What are we going to do about it? What do we do? Your father has to be buried. Exactly. Daddy has to be buried. And that's why I'll be having a crucial meeting with our kinsmen in two days. So that we can decide on what next to uh, refix the burial date. Mom, it's okay. You are not thinking too much about your father. No, Mom. It's even you are worried about. No, don't worry about me. As you can see, I have taken things the way they are. I warned your father. I warned him so many times. But he refused to listen. Oh, yes, Mom. Are you two here? The doctor wants to see all of us. Please come here. And that's the good news is that all the body parts have been properly fixed. Oh, thank God. So you can now go ahead and fix the barrier dates. Yeah, thank you. Doctor, thank you very much. 
You see why I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm so happy. We're glad. We're glad. You see why I'm, I'm so proud of you? Mm -hmm. um, Doc, please, can I see you a minute? Please. So what happened to me? Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. What's the news? They just fixed that his body parts so we can bury him now. Yeah. Oh. I want to help it. <laughs> <laughs> May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. 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 I hope uh, there's no problem. I'm not at all. How's my brother and uh, Marine Law? They're okay, they're okay. Um, you know your brother gave the permission that I should deliver this girl okay. to you as the elder son of the family. Okay. So this is a um, letter from Leo. Okay. And um, this is the will. As you can see, still not tampered in any way. Uh, please, uh, why don't you go in and, and, and maybe... Uh, no, next time I must be on my way. Okay? Okay, okay. thank you very much. Sorry. Thank you very much. Okay, okay I'll, I'll give you a call later, okay? That's no problem. Thank you very much. Hold on, take care of yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. All right.